What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add glow to your sprites and change your scene from this to something like this. Now you can see there it's a lot glowy. You've got a glowing sprite that's spreading its light across the actual ground. The actual moon has a glow and glare to it so it looks kind of cool and it's just a simple scene but you can already see the different depth you can add to a level with just adding glow to your sprites. So without further ado let's Let's actually implement this. Okay guys so we have this simple scene now you can see here we have this uh torch sprite or this like fiery uh, fire on a stick sprite that I really quickly mocked up in a sprite and a simple moon sprite now we could easily make this all have some sort of glow effect by adding in a um, a global volume into here so over in a hierarchy let's go to the right and go down to volume and create a global volume enter this uh just reset all of this and we could either select the profile for egg up or just create a new global profile here and then what we could do is add no fried post processing and bloom we want to turn on the threshold and the intensity and put this to something like one now you can already see the scene has some sort of atmosphere to it now it's actually kind of glowy the sprites have some sort of glow to them now this is great and all but it doesn't really it, the, the sprites themselves aren't glowing and also this torch should really be glowing from the fire outwards and not the whole stick as well so let's add some actual lights to our scene so we're going to start off with moonlight now what we want to do is go to light go down to a spotlight and you're going to see our scene actually loses all its color because when you add a 2d light to a urp scene um all the lit shaders will then be affected by this light um but you can see here on the right we can actually fix some of this by going into our targeting layers and adding background and also foregrounds are selecting all of them to us. and you can currently see the moon is being affected now that's because our light is currently on our moon but it needs a bit more intensity so let's put this up to about two or even three in terms of its uh intensity there now we can add some more glow from our moon by going to the volumetric setting on the 2D light and turning it on. Now you're going to probably be thinking, whoa, that's crazy. Now to fix this insane amount of light, you want to turn up the fall off strength. Now there you go. You can see we get this sort of glow. You can also see there's like a halo further out here of where the light is reaching. And we can increase this or decrease this with the actual range to change its effect. Let's put something like three. I think this is a nice looking moon effect. It adds a lot of depth, but currently, the rest of our scene isn't too lit so let's add a light coming from our torch so let's just go to light um, and create another spotlight which is going to come from our torch let's move this up just a little so it's more from our actual light and let's actually select the foreground as well as the default but we don't want to select the background as well because that would also affect our moon and we don't want that now in our scene here we can see it's currently looking let's put this at 0.5 so it's coming from directly in the fire and what we could do here is just up our outer range i'll probably put this at something like seven which gives it a nice bright um outline and then let's drop the fall off to something about 0.75 to give that nice faded effect inwards now currently in our game this this looks all right but again the light down here should probably be more of a different color so let's make it more of a yellowy sort of ready fire color that's coming off this light here um just so it gives it more of a real effect now this is all great and it's looking all right but there's not much glow to our actual sprites and our actual sprite here isn't doing anything so i'm going to show you how you can actually add in an emissive uh, shader to this graph so what we want to do is we're going to create a new shader graph urp and we're going to select a sprite lit shader graph and just call this our 2d glow uh, texture there double click this to open it up inside of our inside of um, shader graph and let's move this aside now you just want to make sure this on sprite lit and alpha on the right here and universal is the active targets then what we want to do is on the left here we want to select 
this and add in a texture now you want to name this main text exactly like i have here because this if we click this you'll see will set its reference to underscore main text and this will automatically pull through the texture of your sprite without you having to reference it we then want another texture which is actually going to be the emissive texture so we're going to say emission and we're going to see emission mask now let's also create one more which is going to be the glow effect or glow color let's call it now on the glow color we want to make sure this mode is set to hdr so we can get a nice hd um or sort of glow effect hdr as well allow it to actually have some glow so let's go to our main text drag this in our emission mask and our glow color here now what we want to do is we want to take this and pull it into a sample uh, texture node so let's just put this in a sample and there you go this will just convert this texture data into actual something we can use um, let's drag this in here and also put this through to a sample texture just like this and bring this here now we want to basically add this and this together to get the actual emissive value we want we also then want to multiply the color with our emission to get that so let's start off with that let's go in here and let's add a multiply node where we're going to multiply our emission mask with our glow color so this is going to make sure the only thing that glows is the mask we are currently applying now we want to drag our some this one into an add node and over here we can actually apply this to the a node and now we'll multiply our nodes together or add our nodes together to actually combine the two values now finally what we want to do is let's just tidy this up bring this over here bring this back and move this over and there's two things we need to do the first thing is we need to actually split this off into um multiple because we want to get the alpha value separately and apply it to the alpha but then we just want to take the rest of the add node and pull it in our base color here now what we could do from here is just hit save asset we could stop maximizing this and go back to our scene now to actually use this 2d glow we need to create a texture out of it so let's right click it create a material and we're going to call this our gl torch glow effect now on this we want to drag in our torch emission now i'm going to show you my two sprites here um which is going to look blurry because of the filtering but you can see here we have a pixel art um torch and we also have a pixel art emissions now this is just the pixels that are a part of the fire that i've set to white or a gray color which will apply the effect the black will not get any glow at all and that's what you need to do you need to take your pixel art or whatever sort of 2d art you're using and basically black out anything that isn't supposed to glow but what is supposed to glow you want to make it a lighter white color or any color you want now inside of our torch glow material what we could do is drag in the emission texture and then go to our torch and apply this new torch glow in the sprite renderers material now you can see nothing's really changed here but if we start messing around with the actual hdr glow here you can see we go into this mode and we up the uh, intensity you'll see it's starting to glow really heavily now this isn't looking 100 percent too great um because it's just whitening whitening out the uh, the actual color so to fix this what we're going to do is just basically turn it to be a red color uh, which is obviously more of the texture here because it's red and yellows and this will fix our issue there and then you can see we actually have a nice glow now we can set this something like free and go back to our scene or our game view and there you go you can see the actual glow is happening there and it's looking real good you're getting a much better glow and it's only coming from the actual source of the fire and not the actual stick so that's going to be it on today's tutorial on 2D Glow. It's super simple and really easy to use. Just make sure you're using Unity's URP uh, 2D scene. Um, and then you're able to add in a 2D global volume and make sure that's added here. You also want to make sure post-processing is ticked on. Otherwise, you're going to have this issue here where it's not actually glowing. Um, we just want to turn that on because this will apply the bloom to our... Um, element you also want to go to the output and make sure hdr is actually on now currently it's set to use the render pipeline asset which is fine because that is normally on by default i believe it's in settings and 
And under the Universal RP pipeline here, you can see HDR. We just need that ticked on for the actual glow to work as well here. Uh, this allows for the HDR to actually take effect. And there you go. So that is all you need to do to make 2D glow. I hope that helps you out in your endeavor of making 2D games. But thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.